Good morning, great to be sharing another devotional with you today. And we are concluding the Sermon on the Mount, the greatest sermon ever preached. I remember when I first became a Christian um, and, and reading this, uh, this teaching, this sermon, just thinking how beautiful it was, how radical, it's rich, it's revolutionary. Uh, even, even people who aren't Christians, um, it's, it's teachings like this that, that, that herald Jesus as one of the greatest, at least moral teachers of all, all time. Um, because of what he's saying in here, so it's so revolutionary, um, not just for the time, but even, even for now, uh, as we've addressed in other videos. And so Jesus is kind of concluding this then by giving us a choice. After all is said and done and what Jesus has done, what are we going to do with it? And so if, 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 you, if you build your life on this, this is the rock that will not, will not let your house, will not let your life come to ruins. Jesus is also having a slight dig at the, the scribes and the Pharisees. Uh, which he's done a little bit throughout in chapter 5. It says that your, if your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and the, and the Pharisees. Um, and it says at the end, people, people are amazed at his teachings, of the authority that he taught with. And it wasn't like that of the scribes. Because Jesus is really addressing, um, you know, when you get to bits when he talks about bad fruit. Like Jesus is, 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 is interested in the fruit of our life. Um, not this kind of outward religion or this outward kind of appearance that would seem to be that of the scribes and the Pharisees. That's why Jesus teaches so much, and you know, pray in private. It's not, it's not a show. Don't you don't need to pray with long, lengthy prayers. Not when you give to the needy, um, do it, do it in private. Do it, do it so your other hand doesn't know. And that's why he goes on, you know, that, that verse saying, like, Lord, Lord. People will say, Lord, Lord, and you say, I never knew you. It's really scary. But again, he's really addressing that kind of outward um, religion, let's, let's call it. Um, he says that people will say, look, we did many mighty works in your name and cast out demons. And to be sure, those things are great and part of the Christian life. But if it's merely that, then it's not enough. Jesus isn't so much interested in our mighty works. Jesus is interested in the fruit that we bear in our life. And Jesus said, you will know my disciples by their fruit. Not how much work they've done or how mighty their work is, by their fruit. The way we love people, the way we forgive people, the way we keep our promises, the way we uh, open up our homes and our hearts generously. Those are the kind of things that Jesus is is, is, is looking for. And so again, he's saying to us, if, if you build your life on, on this, if you build your life on this as a rock, his teaching is a rock and Jesus himself a rock. And he's saying that when, when the storms come, you know, when the wind beats against it and the rain comes, it will not fall. It's not paper thin. It's not built on sand. And the storms will come. Jesus isn't offering us or, or buttering us up for an easy life. You know, Jesus actually says, doesn't he, it's, it's, it's the straight and narrow, it's not the wide and easy. Storms will come, and storms have come, you know, storms of, of being uh, made redundant, coronavirus, the economy, all sorts of things, the storms that we've been hit by. And it exposes things, it exposes things in our hearts. And Jesus is saying, when those things come, Living your life, building your life on the rock, building your life on, on these kingdom values, this upside down kingdom, the good news of the kingdom that Jesus has come to build, um, to, to preach. So when you build your life on that, it's rock steady. And I think now more than ever, people need to hear this. People need to know it. And I've been intrigued to see so many people reaching out for God. Um, in this season, in, in, in the public sphere, and just even friends that I know myself. And when Jesus says to his disciples and his apostles, he goes, go and teach the world. All that I have taught you, go and teach to the world. And it's truth, it's, it's, it's truth like this that, that people need to build their lives on. 
not just the rock of Jesus' teaching, but the rock himself of Jesus Christ, who has who has lived, died, and rose again for us, so that we could know him. And so my prayer for us this morning is that we do that. We take the words of life and we apply them well. Let me pray for us, and um, let me uh, let me bless us. So yeah, Father, I just thank you so much for all of the teachings of Jesus Christ. I thank you so much for the words of life um, that are in this book, Father. Not just this sermon, but the whole book. Thank you so much for uh, the truth and the life that you've given us. Thank you, Jesus, that you said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. <laughs> thank you, Jesus, that we are the promise of, of rising again with you, that our life is secure in you, that no matter what happens, that you're a good father, you provide for us, you love us, and all the promises that are in this, God, we just thank you that they're yes and amen. And I want to pray, God, help us, help us to be good, uh, good students of your word, uh, faithful to, to living it out, faithful to blessing others with introducing you um, to, to them. We do ask that, God, and bless us, bless us for the rest of this year, Father, pray whatever storms come, pray that, that we would be safe on the rock of Jesus, safe on the rock of your, your good teaching and your, um, your, 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 your salvation power that you've given to us. Thank you that the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead is alive and at work in us. We don't work this out on our own, but we work it out with the Holy Spirit in us. So I do pray that you bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.